Tongo Wai Tiao Ho Cheng Fu Jongo Tiang Shi Wo Men Da. Welcome back, everyone, to Total War Three Kingdoms or Summon One campaign. This is going to be episode five. Hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign so far. Let's go ahead and just get fucking started. Need a new reform. We're going to go for Battlefield Medicine. Get that 1,000 population growth and plus 5% replenishment. Last part, we were able to take the city of Anping. Now we're currently moving south of our army towards Sumoe's territory so that we can try, so that we can attempt to start taking away his territory. We're hoping to build up our subterfuge enough to start another war between him and the Tin Empire. Lao Ming Ti. Let's see if we can get her to infiltrate Sumoe's faction. We have a mission to infiltrate his faction with a spy. Do what must be done. We'll end the turn. You would not need fear us. Oh, that's where he is. He's east of us. He says he's more powerful than us. Yeah, he's superior. He's rich in food and rich in income compared to us. We'll accept it for now. Our talks have finished. Right now I'm focused on fighting back Sumo Wei. So if I can have one less possible enemy, that would be very much appreciated. Tin Empire signed a peace treaty with Suma Tiong. Suma Tai declared war on the Tin Empire. Spy dispatched Lao Min Ti. Attempting to infiltrate Sumo Wei. Tiyu Tun and Chezong. Tiyu Tun is apparently legendary, but she has nothing over a hundred, so yeah, she's got nothing unique either. So there's no way she's legendary. She must be glitched out. Maybe if I, I don't know why I'm still getting that fucking bug. I thought it was supposed to be fixed in one of the updates, but I guess I was wrong. Or maybe it's because this save game is from before the update, so it didn't affect it. Let's upgrade our capital. We're going to build another, another judiciary, get some more subterfuge. And it'll increase our income from family estates by 5%. Which is 100. Promote Keep moving south with Suma Luen. We're going to get some more food trade. We got 10 food. This one's about to expire with 2 Baomin. Very poor, very poor. We're at war with Suma D. Huang Xin, very poor as well. We can't get a trade agreement. Why can we not get a trade agreement? We got two out of three. We're only trading with Tu Bao Min and Suma Yong. But we're also connected to the Tin Empire here. Okay, that's kind of stupid. I don't know why it's not letting us trade. Shu Yan. Suma Ying, our, trade, our food trade deal with him is going to expire next turn as well. Yeah, he's equal to us in food and, and money. Some way we're at war with. 
He's got a lot of food more than us, actually. Suma tea? We'll try it with Suma tea. Let's see if we can get some food we trade with him. Much good today. Okay, so four is pretty much all he needs. Because after that, it only goes up by 0.5. So we'll request regular payment. See how much he can actually offer us. Let's try 225. Nope, that's too much. 218? Nope, still too much. 216. No, that's too little. 217 is gonna be right on the money. A proposal there we go. Of my standing. And we could do... We could stand to get away with trading three more food away. Shoyan? No, he's just poor. Bian Bing is now rich compared to us. Two. Oh, we're trading with her already. Sumatai. Very poor. Why not try with Shu Yan? We, we got a good ready. relationship oh. with him. Okay, so he doesn't really need food. So he's not really going to offer us a lot. Yeah, that wouldn't really be worth it for us. Let's try to get a food trade with Sumatai. Allow for him three. Again, he doesn't need as much. He doesn't really need food. Let's try Huang Shin. No, he doesn't need food as well. Shit, I think we're already trading with everyone that needs food. So we'll just keep the six for now then. And let's get some money. I mean, let's build something. Let's get some money. What the fuck? Let's upgrade this iron... Open iron veins. We're going to upgrade that to the iron pits. And we will end the turn. Yes, we've already moved some alone. You would not need to fear us. I don't even know where this guy is. So I'm going to... Right? Because I remember looking at the diplomacy, it didn't show us where he... Yeah, we can't see where his faction is. So I'm gonna reject that. Very well. Because I have no idea if he's gonna be in a spot where we'll want to take later on. Sumaway commanded their vassal Sawahun join a war. Sawahun has declared war on us. Tin Empire requested Sumati join their war. War declared between Sumati and Sumatai. Run Shen signed a peace treaty with Mao Pan. One of your courtiers has loudly and dramatically denounced one of his opponents as a spy. In private. In private, the accused admits this fact but begs for protection. In exchange, they will give you valuable secret information. We're gonna go for... We're gonna execute them. We can't... We can't really take the satisfaction here right now. Treason is treason, and good favor is good favor. You have the spy executed to please your court. 
Okay, let's continue south. We still need to replenish, so we'll move to the road. Ever onwards. Or near the road, at least. The Judiciary Building has finished being built. Okay, it's called the County Office. The branch is just called Judiciary. We're going to upgrade this to the Farm Supply Storage to get some more food production. And... To enlightenment. Can we get another trebuchet? No, we can't. Unless we cancel building that. Wisdom guides. And let's go ahead and get that second trebuchet now. We'll end the turn again. Some things are better gained through trade. He wants 268 coppers. 8 coppers per turn for 10 turns. The Land Shaper, which is a an exceptional ancillary for a refined ex refined armor and expert's leather. Nope, we're not going to do that. Help. Let me go help. Let me go help. Let me go. Stop kidnapping me. Tin Empire declared war on Song Wei. I'm gonna have to link that video in the end card. I highly recommend you guys go watch Danny Gonzalez's music video. What is it? I think it is called Help Let Me Go. It's really fucking funny. The people come first. Your advisors recommended you serve the people, and that is what you have chosen to do. Yet the other princes of Tin see this as neglect. They insist you spend more on courtly distractions to keep them entertained. Let's see. I really don't want to lose that money. The people must benefit from their master's bounties, not the aristocrats. And I forgot that last turn our trade ended with several of our neighbors, so we need to go back to Suma Ying. Welcome. Negotiate. He needs at least three, so let's see. That's 5.5. 7. Okay, so he just needs four, which makes sense. He's got a lot of money, so he's probably going to give us a good amount. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount. 400? No, slightly less than that, so I'm going to say 398. No, that was still too much. 396? Let's see if we can get it at 397. Yep. I'll take that. That's Your a pretty good amount. Humble. It's almost 4,000 in total. And who else do we have it with? Tu Bao Min. Glad to see you. Damn, she's actually got a good amount of money as well. The hell are these guys doing that is giving them so much cash? Five is at eight point five. Yeah, we can do six. We got twelve. It started off at two ten. Holy shit! And it's still that high. Holy crap! Look at that four forty five, and she still wants to pay. Is willing to pay even more. We're gonna go to four seventy. 
No, that's still too much. 470. Let's do 460. Okay, we can still go up from this, so 463. No. Damn it, I just hit three again. Like an idiot. For Okay, so 461 is the highest she will go. I can work with that. Rational minds always find common ground. I don't think we had food trade with anyone else. Equal. Shu Yan. Sumatai. If I remember right, he didn't want any food. He, he's gonna give us a really low amount, so we'll just keep moving on. Foreman. Plus 10% income from industry. If we can get an administrator, that would be really good to put them in Taiyun. Actually, let's see if we can put an administrator in, within there now. Minus 10% construction costs. Plus 1k population growth. Plus 3 noble support. Minus 25% building upkeep. Plus 2k population growth. Plus 40% income from commerce, silk, and spice, which... Uh, we're not really making any from in this... Yeah. Just industry and peasantry. Plus 15 reserves, plus 10% income from all sources, plus 3, plus three noble support. The people here are few. Plus 2k population growth, minus 9% construction costs. Damn, not, nothing that increases industry income. You know what, we'll give it to Sunshu. Following people have been promoted to the post of administrator. Su I actually already forgot what his fucking name was. Oh, it, it was Sunshu. Okay, it's our uh, the general that's with us. We'll go ahead and equip that on him. And let's see if we can do an assignment to increase the income from here as well. Minus 1 construction time. Minus 10% construction cost. Minus 25% building upkeep. Okay, plus 50% income for peasantry. Plus 15 noble support. Minus 50% corruption. The corruption's not that high. Plus 15% income from industry. Now that would be really fucking useful. Plus 50% income from commerce. Oh, plus 30% income from industry. And this is our heir, I believe. Yeah, that is our heir, Sumashu. Let's do it. Industrial exploitation. Alright, so it's at 601 at the moment. Let's assign someone to our capital. We'll do Suma Chen. To increase that commerce income. It's not high, but still. It'll still gain us some money. Are we still replenishing? Yes, we are. Reserve action. We'll wait one more turn. Our spy is in Luoyang, the trade port. Anyone there? Oh shit, Sumo Wei is actually there. I cannot. Chu infantry, Chu spearmen, Chu infantry, cataphract, archer militia, some spear guards, one team militia, two axe bands, and another archer militia. 
And that's just one of his armies. Okay, he left. He's heading west. I don't know. Maybe he's got an enemy out there somewhere. I don't know who. Who are all of the people he's at war with? Coalition became a military alliance. Al alliance formed between Sumati and the Tin Empire. Coalition with Sumati left by the Tin Empire. Coalition with Tin Empire left by Sumati. Alliance formed between Tin Empire and Sumati. And two bombmen has left the coalition of the Tin Empire. Huang Xin declared war on the Tin Empire. Tin Empire joined the war against Huang Xin. Huang Shen and Sumati are at war. A hero's aid. You read a report about one of your generals who beat six enemies single-handedly, largely due to the courage, speed, and loyalty of their horse. Heroes have always had something, or someone, to help them achieve their rightful destiny. It can be a loyal follower, a trusted steed, a book of wisdom, or a weapon of unique properties, but they all fulfill the same role, whether it is fate or by your very own will and action, such a thing has come into your possession. The real test is figuring out how to best make use of it, or them, to help you achieve your goal. Chance for us to gain an ancillary. Lao Menti is now in Shengyong Lumberyard. There's another fucking army. Crossbowmen, two spearmen. They're not replenishing? They must be. Oh, because they're in March. Not possible. Two spearmen, T. Militia, Saber Militia. More saber militia, mounted lancer militia, and a mounted saber militia. A misunderstanding. Ni Shang Ting Tang Bao Hui. Um, Homo Chen. Or Homo Chen. We got an overseer. Plus 5% campaign movement range when commanding. Plus 5% speed to own retinue. Plus 4 authority. Plus 4 cunning. Locks assignment. Increased provisions. And strategies of the warring states. Naval's guerrilla deployment to own retinue plus six satisfaction plus six cunning. Hey, that's pretty fucking good. Finished building the iron pits. I am loyal to myself. Our Sumaloan has plus four authority with law enforcer and plus two noble support. We're gonna replace that with. Yeah, we're gonna place that with the overseer. And we'll give him the clay axe to increase his satisfaction slightly. Cause that he's the faction leader, so that increases the satisfaction of all characters in our faction. And we're gonna go to our heir Sumashu. And we're gonna give him the land. Oh no, we have to wait a turn before we can give him the overseer. No, not the overseer, the foreman. No, the law enforcer. Shit, I keep forgetting what it was. Okay, we got nothing to give him that's gonna give him more satis. I mean, authority. Because if we increase his authority as well, it's gonna increase the satisfaction of all the characters within our faction as too. So I have to say as well again, and that would have pissed me off if I repeated myself. The, who's this? Chi Sheng. This is actually one of Sumo Wei's armies. May flow. So it looks like he was trying to attack our capital. Let's upgrade. Look at this, we're now at 898 here. 925 from industry. Hell yeah, that's a good fucking increase. This went up by 90 as well. To 270. Remain dormant. I gotta start using... Our people for assignments more often. Sumashu actually leveled up. 
plus 8 authority, unlocks assignment counter at corruption, plus 5 noble support. When he's an administrator, plus 8 authority, enables ignore force penalties to own retinue, plus 25% chance of avoiding ambush. Intensity. Either way, we can go for intensity, which I would like to get to give, get him some more damage and get him the mighty knock, knockback. Plus 25 charge speed to retinue as well. Bravery. Or diligence. They're both expertise. Plus 5 melee evasion for melee infantry. Plus 25 bonus experience for units per season. Hmm. Plus 8 expertise enables charge negate and enables immune to fear and terror. Let's go for this because I would like to get him as a general. So we'll apply that. Got no weapons, no better armor for him. And we're about to attack that army. Absolutely not. Chu Shang. Embrace impulse. Let's go ahead. I hope we have military access with the Tin Empire. Because if not, I just trespassed in their lands. Start the battle. Gonna put our trebuchets here. We're gonna deploy to the side of them so that so that we can surprise them and have them move around and hopefully give us more time to cause more casualties. Put our crossbows in the front. Control group one. Our infantry behind them, control group two. We really need to build this army up. We're missing two units to be at full strength. Damn it, and we'll go we'll put these two generals here. Oh, also our saber militia. Let's put them in the woods. We'll use them to surprise the enemy once they start moving towards us. Suma Luan and our cavalry, as always, will be grouped up. And we're going to actually deploy them. Let's deploy them here, behind the enemy. Start the battle. Going to move them up so that we can spot... So that we can spot our enemies better. Trebuchets are already firing. Bad thing is there all there's all these trees. They're gonna be blocking. But we can also set the trees around them on fire and cause more casualties. Holy shit, you could hear that guy screaming. I just I was not laughing, I was like horrified? Giddily horrified. Like it definitely it was not good to hear. 
I like the realism, but damn. Really don't like hearing somebody screaming from being on fire. Okay, they're still in range. They're in loose formation now, though. Let's hit these Dao Sword Guards now. Setting those trees on fire. We're gonna get our cavalry and Suma Luen around. Because we're hoping... We want to take out that trebuchet. Damn, they're already starting to fire. Crossbows at the ready. You know what? Let's do something. We're gonna move up our crossbowmen in our infantry. Also our generals. Hopefully draw them away from the trebuchets. Okay, we can't spot those Dao Sword Guards anymore. I will cut out your heart. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Let's fire these mounted saber militia. Cavalrymen. Damn it, they've got their spears all around that trebuchet. Treachery! Hidden enemies! All right, there's that Dao Sword Guard unit. They're at 207 out of 207, so they actually didn't lose any men. There we go, that's a good hit. Or maybe not, they only lost two men. That hit right in the middle of that group, it didn't kill anyone. And that went, that shot just disappeared. I don't even think it like hit a tree, just like was sucked into a portal or a black hole or something. Fire at these infantry. I think I targeted those spearmen. Okay, let's move up more. Or no, we are actually on range. We're fighting their crossbowmen. Let's focus on them. Or no, they're, they're archers. Okay, we're hitting this crossbowman unit. Oh, not on purpose. We actually are targeting the two spearmen. That's good, though. They're, like, all around each other. So even when we're missing, we're hitting something. Ah, oh, shit. Get our generals over here. Let's move these spear the spear unit over. Spear guard. Okay, let's focus on another archer unit. We're gonna charge these cavalry. gonna decline that come on surely you could do better if only wars were one with witty words all right our spearmen infiltrated that mounted lancer militia we need to go after these other cavalry let's get these saber militia over there as well Pull these crossbowmen back. Get these spear guards to turn around and fight that cavalry. Get these team militia in there.
All right, there we go. We need to go take out this trebuchet now. We'll send this Dao Sword Guard Cavalry into the trebuchet. And the other cavalry, along with Suma Luana, will move to uh, infiltrate these... to uh, take on their archers. Yeah, we'll focus on destroying these archers, these crossbowmen. Okay, our two militia are fighting these two spearmen. Gonna pull these saber militia over. Look, the enemy run. Let's fire at that Dao Sword Guard unit. We'll use these other two crossbowmen to fire at this two spearmen. Infiltrate, I mean, uh. Why did I say infiltrate? I mean. What is the fucking word I'm thinking of? Intercept. Intercept them with uh, that. Whatever the fuck I, I sent to attack them. Our men have been discovered. Alright, we're gonna send Suma Luen to go fight off their general, Chi Shang. I don't know what these guys are doing. Fuck it, don't even fire anymore. You're out of ammunition. Alright, we've routed those two spearmen. Let's go fight that fucking mounted lancer militia that's fighting fighting our uh, our trebuchet. Where are other cavalry? Look, the enemy run, Craven. Shit, they just charged us. Okay, this unit is over here. We're going to send them into the back of these two spearmen as soon as they pop back up. They're turning around, so we'll send these Shongnu cavalry behind them now that they're turning around. We're going to send these team militia to go help out against those cavalry. Okay, our spear guards have already routed. Let's charge into these crossbowmen. Wasn't that good of a charge because they weren't able to build up any speed. They were right there already close to them. But we still routed them. We'll charge those other archers that are coming back from routing. Our comrade falls. Hold the line. Ah, uh, shit. Shishu fell in battle. Steal yourselves. Soon Shu will send him against him. Shit, now he's hidden. We'll decline that, send Suma Luen against him. You see, the militia are just running past the two spearmen. Now we'll turn around and fight them. Dao Sword Guard Cavalry against those generals. Send these Shongnu Cavalry into these two spearmen. They're moving, so they're not braced yet. Nope, let's turn around. They're actually stopped. They're trying to brace. So we're not going to do that. And they actually even went into a spear wall. Clever girls. Clever girl. They almost got me. Come on, I told you to fucking fight Shing... Chi Shang. Unleash the 
Go charge these fucking generals. Come on, similar one, you're so fucking slow. One step closer to victory. Alright, this unit still has bolts. Let's move them around so they can get a good line of sight. Chi Sheng is running, the coward. All right, well, we won very sloppily. But a win is a win. So I'll catch you back on the loading screen. I'm going to hunt down what I can so that we can try to destroy this army completely. Okay, well, we're back. Okay, well, we lost way more men than we should have. Cunning triumphs over brute force. Good thing, uh, Chi Shu is legendary. Chi Shang. Siege's armor. Could get that. Friends with s rivals with Suma Liang. Friends with Suma Wei. can't employ him. We could kill him and take his armor. Plus 3 expertise, minus 5% speed, minus 5% melee attack rate, and plus 6 charge bonus, 46 armor base. There is wisdom in this armor. Wisdom, it's where we'll, all, we'll now also possess. Yeah, we'll fucking release him. Keep get the money. Is a waste of our resources. And we will replenish. With all resources. The river ever rises. Okay, ever they've only got a few units left. With wisdom. Crash upon them. And we took one fucking footstep and that's it. She shoes wounded. Sumaloan has leveled up. Shishu has become scarred, plus two authority, plus three morale when attacking. Oh, we got dual war axes. How the hell did we get that? We didn't kill anybody. Minus six expertise, plus nine instinct, plus 15 resolve, minus nine expertise. Plus 15 charge bonus. 1,000 melee damage base. This is 1.4 thousand. 2.4 thousand melee damage on piercing. 24 melee attack rate. So this is a 2.4 thousand total. This is at 3.4 thousand. But this also gives him more damage because of the instinct. A mother knows her sons. If you see him coming, run as fast as you can. Damn, it would give us him a good amount of health. I think maybe we'll give that to Shishu instead because he is a champion. Now let's see, what should we give Suma Luen? Nothing that gives him instinct. Wanna make- oh this does. Inspiring Surge. But we also should be going for authority to keep increasing that satisfaction within our faction. Plus 8 authority enables unbreakable, plus 10 morale when defending. Plus 8 authority. Probably should say what it's called, stability. Plus 8 authority unlocks assignment counteract corruption. Plus 2 noble support faction wide. Diligence, plus 5 melee evasion for melee infantry, own retinue. He's only got 2 infantry units. Plus 8 expertise, plus 10% ranged armor piercing damage to the entire army, plus 10% ranged firing rate when commanding. Might actually be useful. We do have a good amount of archers, or crossbowmen. Plus 10% melee armor piercing damage to the entire army, plus 40% melee attack rate to himself, plus 8 expertise. Unretinue enables night battles. 
plus 8 cunning, plus 25% range damage to retinue. He doesn't have archers in his retinue. Another trade agreement. Fire arrows and night battle. Cutting his ammunition and military supplies. Plus five reserves faction wide. Ah, uh, shit. Let's go for. We'll go for judgment. Apply. And next, we'll probably go for that inspiring surge. I'm going to call the episode here. It's been about over 40 minutes. Next part, we will hopefully chase down this army, destroy it for good. And impossible. Yeah, destroy it for good. And move to take that trade port. Damn, we got really good amount of money right now. Taiyun is making us the most amount of money, so we're going to build something up here. Let's upgrade the laborer conscription housing, why not? It's cheap and it takes one turn. And we'll upgrade the judiciary here to secretariat. And that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, hit the like and uh, possibly consider subscribing. If you want to keep following this campaign. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike. Let me know in the comments below why you didn't like it. Leave me a comment below also letting me know what you'd like to see in the campaign. Feel free to give me any advice. Thanks for watching. She's in the Shokan. Peace out.